classroom of the elite this show it is doing things to me and i don't know why i don't know if it's like i'm back in high school again i don't know it's like some high school drama but it's like are we gonna get to kill people i don't know what's going on but i watched classroom of the elite season one a couple months ago i think it was about a year ago now at this point and i'm not gonna say i was disappointed but i was definitely a little bit underwhelmed by the fact that i thought the show i said the show was called classroom of the elite and i'm thinking we're gonna be killing dudes or something i didn't know which direction we were going right and i heard that season two got announced i've been putting it off for a little bit now and the last episode of the season came out a couple days ago i think about a week ago so i was like you know what I'm just gonna watch it all in one night. And that's what I did. I watched it all last night. It was like three hours, four hours. And I am surprised. I am surprised. Okay, season one, I gave it like a seven, whatever, seven out of 10, seven and a half. And I was told that season two was worse than season one by a couple of my friends, people on the internet. I've, I've been told this and I just watched it, man. Good God, I am a Koji. I am a Koji good, are you kidding me? Right and if you haven't seen classroom elite season two i would definitely click off the video but subscribe first before doing so because you know you want to come back to this video after you watch it of course but yes there will be spoilers in this video for season two i really just want to rant i i don't I, i'm at a loss for words because i'm so engaged into this story i i just like granted do i want them to start maybe catching more bodies yeah i do if someone decided to just uppercut someone and beat someone to a pulp you know i wouldn't be opposed to it because it feels like I'm on the cusp of something great every single time. I feel like something's about to just explode and someone's just gonna rip someone's eye out of their socket or some shit. You know, I'm like on the edge of my seat, like waiting for something to pop off. But no, with season two, I am actually kind of confused at first because we hopped right into it. And then I'm sitting here thinking, who who are all these characters? They brought out like 17 characters out the woodworks. But the more I watch, the more I'm starting to understand what's going on, right? So then we're meeting some new people and then there's this new girl off the bat, Kabrui Zawa. Kaburi Zawa. Don't even get me started with that. I'm gonna get back to her later, but that is my girl, man. That's my girl right there. Kaburi Zawa. Oh my goodness. But no, so they're doing the whole group test thing and then find out there's a traitor in class D, whatever, whatever. And then apparently these girls don't like this girl, the Kaburi Zawa girl, and then she's having this whole thing and then they're bullying her and then Ayana Koji and this other guy end up going to save her. So then she ends up getting cornered by these girls again in a different situation but I guess they're like underground. I don't know where this is in the school, but I mean, I guess the school is a big ass city. So I mean, there's many places to do some criminal activity. So then they're about to jump the girl, but then Ayana Koji pulls up and then he saves them. Oh wait, no, he actually didn't save her. She, she just got humiliated and toyed with over there. And then he just pulls up and acts like he's saving the day. I guess the main girl that they were trying to have her apologize to who she bumped into in the hallway. Like, I don't know why they're making such a big deal over this because this is elementary school drama that we're going on with right now. You bumped into her in the hallway. Go on with your day. I mean, I guess they don't have that mature mindset. I get it. But there's a big separation between the mature people in this show and then the immature people. Go apologize to Rika. Shut up, bitch. Who are you talking to? If she wants to come talk to me about it, if she has a problem, she can come talk to me. She doesn't bring her stupid posse of people from class C. What are you doing? What are you doing? What's the point of that? So then their main girl that they're upset about, Rika, ends up just starting to smack Harizawa. And like, she just gets more and more entertainment out of it. And she starts laughing and shit about, okay, go home. You don't deserve to be at this. This is not classroom of the psychos. This is classroom of the elite. Get up, pack your bags and go. You're kicked off the show. It's simply like, what are you doing? Right? But then Ayana Koji comes down and he kind of like consoles her. And I see him pull up. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Ayana Koji, like he's morally getting better. And then he starts saying some shit that I'm like, okay, is he about to get incarcerated right now? What's, what's going on? Spread your legs. What? <laughs> what? What? What are you saying? And then he like grips her shirt and starts lifting up her shirt. I'm like, okay, I didn't sign up for this. This is not the show I signed up for. I already know they put fan service throughout this whole show, but I don't need this right now. I didn't need this. But then he refrained and it was just to prove his point, whatever, because this girl got bullied. So he was like trying to dive into her past. They end up becoming cool. And I'm liking this new girl. I really like this new Kaurizawa girl because it's like, she's, she's different. She's very nice. You know, she's very nice. And she's like, she's very on Ayana Koji's side, even though she kind of knows what he's doing. Like she knows he's a devious freak, but she's still like rolling with it. You know, I'm really starting to like her over time. And they do this whole f sports festival thing, whatever. But yeah, so then he's talking about there's a traitor in class D, whatever, whatever, at the sports festival. And then this girl, Kushida, I mean, put her in the mental institute. What is her deal? Basically, Ayana Koji calls her out. Horikita calls her out. She's a traitor, right? She gave the information of Ryu Ryuen, whatever. That menace from class C. 
and now it's an issue and she's still doing this all with this smile on her face and that's kind of a face that i'm trying to punch because i don't like i don't like the way she's carrying herself it's really getting me upset why are you so mad right what is the problem we are in this together what is the problem why are you so adamant on getting horikita expelled i just don't get it at this point okay like i got it season one you're weird but now you're just weirder. You need to get a grip and get this shit rolling. We need to excel the class A, right? So then she's saying some bullshit like, yeah, I'm not going to excel with my class. And I'm not trying to push up unless Horikita and Ayana Koji get expelled. What are you saying? <laughs> what? Did, uh, you know what? Whatever, right? So then Ayana Koji, he, he shows out. He shows out at this little event. He's like, class president, you want me to race with you real quick? I could, I could put on the, I could put on the burners real quick. I'll show you what's going on. So then they have this meme race, blowing out the competition and it's, it's a spectacle. And then this girl Sato, I thought she was a spy for the other side. Cause she just automatically had a crush on this Ayana Koji character. This girl ends up having a crush on him. She tries exchanging contact numbers, whatever. And she's cool, but I'm not feeling her energy. I'm really not. I'm not feeling the way she's doing things right now. But then she does that. Guy from class C is on a rampage. He is just trying to figure out who is the Class D mastermind. He is just going sabotaging as he did at the sports festival. So then we have this other test. And I'm thinking, okay, they make this deal, Horikita and Kushida, basically saying that if Horikita does well, better than Kushida, then Kushida stops antagonizing them. And if Kushida does better, Horikita has to get expelled or she has to withdraw from the school. I'm thinking this is a perfect deal because I'm tired of this girl. I don't even want to use the B word and I'm on the cusp of using it. I really am. I'm on the cusp. I really don't like using that word. Like I'll use it in different situations, but I don't like referring to people like that. But what is your deal? They go through that. Ayana Koji gets mixed up in that little loop and then he tells Kushida, I'll happily get expelled myself if you tell me about your past. And they were kind of hyping up her past and they showed a little glimpse of her classroom and I'm thinking she murdered her whole classroom. What? Like what? Why is she why is she able to walk free why isn't she behind bars lo and behold she just likes validation and basically she likes clout she likes clout that's basically what she likes okay you have it are you upset horikita knows sorry like what that so kushida tries doing some sneaky shit and then getting the answer so she can get a good grade compared to horikita and then beat her but then she gets got herself she gets got and the reason being, Horikita told the teacher not to accept answers from anyone else except Kushida. That is why Horikita is that fucking girl, man. We don't mess with stupid people. And Kushida is one of those stupid people. But yeah, so then she's stuck looking like an idiot because Ayana Koji used Ryu. Ryu, I'm calling him Ryu. Ryu and whatever, I'm calling him that. Ayana Koji used him to get Kushida like off the ropes. And then Ryu's upset about that. He's like, damn, I got used. But then I did this girl dirty. Kushida's sitting there dumbfounded like, oh, I don't, I don't. what happened? <laughs> So she's upset. I'm at this point in the show and I'm like, okay, this is really good. I'm really enjoying this. Does it get better or does it get worse? Oh man, it got better. Oh yes, it did. This shit got good. This shit got really good because Ayana Koji is just, he is, he showed me glimpses. He's gonna, he's gonna snap, whether it be in a positive way or a negative way. At some point, his dad ends up coming to the school and his dad wants him to withdraw because he's trying to go and trap him again in the white room, whatever this white room is, but it made Ayana Koji emotionless a robot. And I don't like his dad for that. So you know who pulls up the school secretary who happens to be the dad of this other girl from a different class. I think it's from class A, right? Shout out to that man because I think he's gonna be the saving grace in the show for Ayana Koji and his emotions. And then Karuizawa basically gets kidnapped after, and she's doing a lot of Ayana Koji's bidding and she's really working for him. And I'm really starting to like this girl. And like, I'm listening to myself speak and I'm like, wow, this is literally school drama, but it's so good and it has potential to be even better. And I'm, I'm hoping. So then she basically gets kidnapped and I don't know how this is going on in a school board. We're in a, like, I get it's a different type of school, but Ryuen, you're a criminal. You are a criminal. It's cold outside. It's getting, we're trying to get jolly. We're trying to get festive. And then we have dudes kidnapping girls up in the construction building, tying them up, pouring water on them, making them shiver. Do you want her to get pneumonia hypothermia? Like, are we trying to kill her? What are we doing? And then he has a stupid little posse with him consisting of Sonic the Hedgehog, NPC number 87, and Shaquille O'Neal. And they're just bullying this girl, bullying. So then the teacher goes with him to the construction site where this girl is being held captive, right? 
the old class president or student council president, whatever, he's there to work, he's his brother. And he's like, I Koji, because I guess they're on good terms now since he respects him, he can see his potential. So he's like, just make sure my sister like can get involved in student council. Great. They stand outside waiting for him. This dude is so cold, man. This is the shit I'm talking about. He's like, I just need you to stay to clean up the mess. Like if this gets busy, like I need you to clean up the mess because it's going to get, it's going to get messy. So he goes in there one on four. I mean, he has no reason to be in this room right now. But Ryu and starts talking to him, whatever, whatever. He's like, I'm just here to save this girl, to be honest. I don't know what you're saying. I'm not scared of you, but I'm just here to save this girl. And everyone's in disbelief. He think they think he's bluffing. So MPC number 87 tries to give him some work and then he doesn't get any. He gets beat the fuck up. That's what happened. He gets a nice submission hey. hold on him and then he gets pushed to the ground, whatever. It was no me, me. no issue for him. Shaquille pulls up on him. Guess what he does? Let's out a lethal barrage of some me. fucking moves. Lethal barrage. He was just bah, bah, bah. no nothing. You don't you can't hang with him. You cannot hang with Ayana Koji. Someone help someone call help for these people. They need help right now. So then them two are taken out. Ryuin is like, you know he's inside he's trembling. You know he's I would be trembling too. It's like what is this guy on? What what I may need to call the students services right now because i'm kind of scared but sonic the hedgehog tries pulling some shit and i and koji like the gentleman he is even though he really has no regard for human emotion he gives her a nice little tap on the neck knocks her out places her down gently because you know that's what gentlemen do so now it's a one-on-one -on -one situation now rio is putting up a fight but it's not i koji someone call help for rio please no please someone call help i'm begging i'm <laughs> I'm, I'm really i'm sitting here watching this beat down of this naruto type of choreography and it's the thing is ayana koji has a setup man he's jumping back and forth sway whoa whoa like he's in a fucking boxing ring maybe he just trained with muhammad ali mike tyson and ayana koji's getting this shit busy because it was getting serious in this shit he did not stand a chance karuizawa call someone Call the authorities. It's getting messy. He stated this. We all knew this was coming. The teacher shouldn't even be allowed this to happen. Why is the teacher letting this happen? She needs to be fired. I just, they let so much shit slide here. It's ridiculous. And then Ryun's like, he's like, I want you to feel pain, bitch, blah, blah, blah. So then he starts elbowing, whatever. The fact that he said this, it really made me rethink the way I live my life. He said some shit along the lines of, he's wanting to feel this pain that Ryun's speaking of and fear but he just can't he, he doesn't even know what he's talking about how are you that many levels above someone that you have to disrespect them to that fucking level that is just nasty that is nasty that is the co now granted right i think ayana koji is a great character and this part this was the best part of the season it had i'm sitting in my bed and i'm like twiddling my feet together because i'm so excited right now i'm so excited to be witnessing this beatdown of this man who's just been causing everyone trouble in this little old late of his trying to run the shit himself when he's really nothing he's really nothing he got humbled really quick but i feel like ayana koji also needs a humbling himself because he is like very as as everyone knows emotionless he he really is emotionless and i'm really just trying to see him get that challenge but this was just another level and he instilled that fear into ryuin you know, he made him probably piss his pants. There was urination happening. And he beat him so bad that he was trying to leave the school. He said, I'm just going to withdraw. I, I have no business here anymore. There's no reason for me to be in the same vicinity as this man. Ayana Koji beat the shit out of him to the point he was probably going to go rerun the shits through elementary school again and make his way back up to become a different person. It was that bad of a beatdown. And I enjoyed every second of it. But yeah, he saves this girl. Whatever, whatever. We find out, of course, Ayana Koji had this shit set from the jump. From the jump, every single thing of this season so far, he was like, I plan on this, this, this happening so we could get into this position. And I initially plan on using violence to solve this. What? That's the, like, that's, what, <laughs> that's one thing that I like and I don't like. It's like, I need a challenge because at the end of the season, right? Oh my gosh. Wait, don't even get me started with this. I completely forgot about this. I, for, I completely forgot about this. He took Sato on a date and then they went on a double date. They went their separate ways. She, she asked him to be in a relationship with him. He's like, I had a great time, but no. Why? Why do you feel this way? I mean, why would I wanna be with you if I don't feel affection for you? Like granted, that's very reasonable of him to say, but you don't say that outright. Oh my gosh, this guy is so fucking cold. I, I would never have, I would never have the courage to say that to someone who really, really like has faith in me. But then we see Karu Izawa or whatever, hiding behind a bush. And then they end up sitting on the bench and he's like, yeah, she wasn't suitable to be my pawn, like compared to you. So it's like, I see what he's doing and he's a devious fucking man for it. And it's not right. He's messed with her emotions. He's messed with her emotions because he he's letting her know that she's a pawn because he knows how she is. 
he knows how she is like she's gonna be very dependent and she and he knows that this is like the most enjoyable moments that she's had really in recent time for her life she's gonna roll with it anyway as long as there's a sense of care like he brought the cold medicine that was all calculated because it would show that he cares she ends up giving him a christmas present which we don't even know what it is yet but they end up exchanging that and she she's like oh he gave me this so he must have been worried about me no <laughs> he just wanted to lure you in and make you a guaranteed pawn for him so once he did that and he started having his inner monologue about like this will do whatever whatever i'm literally talking out loud to myself i'm like damn i'm fucking angry like because i was genuinely mad and i thought he was going to show some sign of emotion and he didn't until the very last quote where he was like it seems like he said some shit like it seems like i'm in the white room again but something about he was like could this relationship make it change or something so that gave me hope for them because if there's someone i want him to be with it's kind of her i love horikita but this girl she caught me by surprise and i was told that this season was worse than the first and i'm gonna have to disagree i really enjoyed this season way 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 more than the first season i just i was more locked into it i understood it more and i really just enjoyed it i don't know i really like this new girl i really like her and i think she could help him get out of this little shell that he's in what a good fucking person wish him happy birthday give him a christmas present and she's really i think she's gonna really help him get out of that shell and then he's trying to expel kushida so he cares to some degree even though he said he did it like what's his reasoning now Nakoji, you know damn well you want to see them succeed you care about them i feel like he genuinely does and he, he's gonna eventually maybe have a mental battle with himself to where like he cares but he doesn't and like he's never felt this before and it's gonna maybe not make him go insane but like start something internally within him i don't know that's what i'm hoping for because i i just don't want this show to fall flat because ayana koji stays cold the whole time but all in all this show was great the second season was genuinely a surprise to me and i did not expect this at all i did not expect this at all and i am very impressed with it. the animation quality went down a little bit but i mean the ost too that opening and the ending both hit hard they both hit hard that's really it they introduced characters and there were characters that were like cool like all the extra class d people but kaguzawa was really the mvp of the season for me and the whole thing with Ryuin and uh, it was good it was a good season man and if i were to give it a rating right now compared to season one which i gave like a seven something i would give this season like an 8.3 8.4 something around that realm i did enjoy it a lot but yeah that's really it man i got some more videos coming out and yeah make sure you like and subscribe i hate begging but i mean 10k we gotta we gotta hit that if you stayed for this long i appreciate it genuinely and yeah on to the next one